good morning everyone so dear friends welcome back hope you are all doing well so we are discussing about the model question papers of the mathematics subject for the third sem students okay especially for the ec stream so this is the solved model question paper question number 4b so what is the question it is on the fourier transform model 2 find the fourier sine and cosine transform of f of x is equal to e raised power minus alpha x where alpha is greater than zero so this is the seven marks question you should not leave this question just because this is purely based on the formula okay formula based question this is so see here fourier sine and cosine transforms are given there is a formula for fourier sine and cosine transform okay so by f of s means sine fourier transform is equal to integration of zero to infinity f of x sine u x dx this is fourier sine then cosine transform it is fc means uh, fourier cosine of u is equal to integration of 0 to infinity f of x cos of ux dx right now first of all let's calculate the fourier sine transform so for sine f of s u is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised power minus alpha x sine of ux dx okay now if you have to integrate this so this is also here the uh, the formula based no need to integrate this uh, term with the uv rule as this is u you can consider this as u and this as v over here okay but no need to go for that particular integration so this is a formula see here integration of e power ax sine of bx dx this is the formula which is equal to e power sorry e power ax a sine of bx plus sorry minus b cos of bx upon a square plus b square this is your formula for the integration of e power x e power ax sine of bx dx now accordingly put here what is the a value here see comp uh, compare these two equations see here is minus alpha here is a so instead of a here is minus alpha okay so i can write e power instead of a i can write minus alpha so minus alpha x is as it is divided by this one a square plus b square what is the a value a value is minus alpha so i can write minus alpha square plus b square as it is okay so instead of b what is in this case see here sine of bx here is sine of ux so instead of b here is u i hope you are getting so i can write here u square okay this is your a square plus b square is over now what i have to write this one a sine of bx a is already minus alpha so minus alpha sine of instead of b there is u so sine of ux minus instead of b there is u so u cos of this bx bx means ux okay this is the whole formula for this this is the integration of this term so limits will shift from zero to infinity okay i hope you are getting this now apply upper limit minus lower limit so when you just apply infinity to this term e raised power minus alpha into infinity it becomes e power minus infinity so you should remember here e power minus infinity is always equal to zero okay so no need to write these all terms so that will be become uh, typical for you while applying the limits you can write also uh, for in the examination for making uh, number of steps over there but here i am telling you that in the short way means when you apply upper limit means e power minus alpha into infinity that becomes your zero as this is the formula e power minus infinity is always equal to zero so zero upon anything is zero multiplied by anything is zero so upper limit will become zero over here minus lower limit lower limit means zero so when you just put lower limit in this case e power minus alpha zero so e raised power zero is one okay so i can write here e power minus alpha into zero means e power zero okay divided by this your uh, alpha square now okay plus u square into this this term okay so this will be your sine of zero sine of zero is zero when you just put a lower limit so this will be eliminated and this will i will remain with okay minus this one u into cos of cos of ux ux means instead of x you have to put zero so cos of zero okay hope you are getting this so you will get uh, this one minus u upon alpha square plus u square where cos of zero is always equal to one i hope you are getting this okay so this is uh, your minus into minus will be plus sorry here positive u upon alpha square by this is your fourier sine 
transform okay now we have to calculate cos of uh, cos uh, transform or their cosine transform this is actually when you are uh, applying limits upper limit minus lower limit it is that minus don't be confused so it is that minus over here upper limit minus lower limit when you are just applying limit lower limit so this minus and this will become positive so it will be u upon alpha square plus u square this is your sine transform now let me calculate cosine transform so for your uh, cosine transform is given by this formula i can write f c of u is equal to integration of 0 to infinity f of x cos of u x dx now uh, what is the f of x function it is already given in the uh, problem e power minus alpha x i can write f c of u is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e power minus alpha x cos of u x dx now uh, instead of uh, directly uh, doing the integration for this term there is also formula for this one okay standard equation is for this also so i can write here on this side integration of 0 to infinity okay your e power a x cos of b x dx there is a formula which is equal to e power a x a cos of bx totally opposite of that sine formula okay plus b sine of bx upon a square plus b square okay now put down the values accordingly f of c of u will be equal to integration of this is uh, this one okay so i can write here e power a is here minus alpha e power minus alpha x upon a square plus b square what is the a value minus alpha so minus alpha whole square plus b value is u so u square i have to write here right then multiplied by this a a value is minus alpha minus alpha cos of cos of b b means u cos of ux plus b is u u sine of ux right so this is your integration of this term limits will be shifted from 0 to infinity when you are just applying upper limit minus lower limit see here it will again become e power minus infinity is always 0 which is equal to 0 so you can write uh, 0 uh, in the upper limit case minus lower limit when you are just uh, applying lower limit it will become e power 0 okay instead of x when you put 0 e power 0 is 1 okay so this will become your 1 this will be your alpha square plus u square right then minus alpha into cos of 0 cos of 0 is 1 so i can directly write here minus alpha okay plus u sine of 0 sine of 0 is 0 always so you have to neglect this term you will get with this one okay so when you just multiply it you will get alpha upon alpha square plus u square minus into minus is plus so this is your Fourier cosine transform okay this is all about your question number 4b this is a very simple problem purely based on formulas you should remember these formulas then only you can do uh, these varieties of problems over there so thanks for watching my video